This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru. When numbers matter. This is Grace reporting for Complete Sports Management. We're here at um, Kunong Park in Bulleen where the Q Rovers have unfortunately been defeated by the Glen Iris Gladiators by 53 points. I'm here with the Q Rovers coach Tony Smith. Can you tell us a little bit about how the game panned out for the Q Rovers today, Tony? Yeah, sure. So, uh, unfortunately, we came into the game and we lost a couple of our key players. Uh, ball winners and uh, and players uh, and then during the game I mean our, our bench looked a bit like the Austin Hospital to be honest we had uh, a lot of key players injured as well so um, despite all of that uh, you know Gladi Glen Iris got off to a really good start five goals in the first quarter uh, and I think we stuck to it really really well given that uh, we had injuries to, to a lot of key players so it was a positive outcome for us and the girls are uh, quite upbeat about it. Yeah, well, the girls played very well in the second quarter where the Gladiators only scored one goal and they had some great defence. Um, what do you, did you guys change between the first and second quarters that led to that great play by the Rovers? I think I just said to the girls, look, don't look at the scoreboard. I mean, uh, they, you can be a bit overawed when the other team gets such a really strong start. And uh, they just sort of put that to the back of their minds and just concentrated on some forward pressure, which was good. And I think the girls really created and, and controlled a lot, of that, uh, a lot of that quarter in our forward line, which was great. And who do you think were the key players for the Q Rovers this afternoon? Well, once again, I think probably our, our four or five best players, unfortunately, weren't playing today or they got injured. So uh, the second stringers stood up. I mean, Chelsea and Serena were very good on the ball. We played them on the ball all day. They were strong. Uh, Livy did well. Uh, she was uh, around the wing and half forward, got a lot of possessions, which was great. Bella was a standout. It's her second game. She's only 15 and kicked a goal, which was great. We put her in the back line last week. She wanted to play forward and I didn't quite get her forward, but I got her to the wing and she kicked kicked a goal which was great fantastic well the rovers are unfortunately two losses down for the season so far um how are you going to regroup coming into next week's match uh look we've got nine first year players that haven't played footy before out of the uh, the group of 24 so uh it's about getting their confidence up making sure that uh they can kick more effectively and their disposals are better uh, and once we bring them up to the level of the second stringers and the, our key players, uh, we'll have a much more solid outfit to, be, to play, which will be good. So it's all positive for us. Yeah, well, congrats, um, commiserations on the loss today, Tony, but we look forward to seeing the Rovers in action next week. Thank you. Very much. Hello, I'm Mehek from Complete Sports Management and I'm here with Lockie Ray from Glen Iris at Kunung Park. So we saw Glen Iris play its first game of the season and, you know, have a beautiful win. So what are your thoughts about, you know, having such a wonderful win on the first game? Uh, well, it was great today. I mean, it was our first game for the season and we had a, we had a little bit of an interrupted pre-season, but the girls managed to put on a good performance from the start and really set the tone early, kicking, I think it was five goals in the first quarter and getting a pretty good lead. So... And then we managed to hold on from there. So it was a great start and a really good way to begin the season for us. Oh, and with this great win, we saw Sarah Cameron be a star of this game by scoring more than five goals. So what do you think about her performance and, you know, how she's been playing the game this season? Yeah, well, Sarah's been great. Obviously, she had an awesome season last year, kicking 50-something goals. And she obviously didn't let that form slip again today. Um, she uh, came in, kicked a few goals to start the game and managed to snag five as well. Um, also was helped by uh, Soph Hemingway down forward, kicking five as well. So those two had a great game and really helped us uh, get the win today. Oh, so having players like Sarah, who've been performing so well, must be a great influencing factor for a number of new goals in your team. So uh, what do you think the new goals have? they been performing so far and how's the training been going? Yeah, well, Sarah's a really good leader, so from the start, she um, managed to get the girls up and about. Um, she was captain last year. Today, we had um, Chloe Burke as captain and got the girls up and about. Um, but today, we actually had, like you said, some uh, new girls come up from the under-15s and make a really big impact. Um, Atlanta Stubbings in the midfield and Ellie Owen as well 
really quick and got lots of touches and really got the ball moving forward for us. So that was good to see that we could have some new girls make a good impact. Oh, uh, so that's really good to hear. So congratulations on your great win. I'm pretty sure that was a great start to a great season. And we really wish you all the very best and hope to see you in the finals. Uh, this is signing off here, Mehek from Complete Sports Management with Lockie Ray of Glen Iris. Thank you. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.